I try to create paintings that might touch somebody, there might be a little bit of humor. It's a way to express myself. I can get lost in it and hopefully trans transfer that onto the viewer too, by telling a little story somehow through my art. I'm Barbara Rudolph and I'm an oil painter. From a very young age, I always loved to draw, and it just kind of um, developed into little doodles in the beginning when I was very young. I loved to do um, really detailed things, and then as I got older, I just continued. I would try new mediums with watercolor and acrylic, and then eventually oil, and um, I definitely love oil paint. It's been something that um, I've tried to master over the years and I love the way it mixes and blends. I love the colors and the richness that oil brings in a painting. My body of work is dedicated to my late father who always loved birds. In fact, this little chickadee up here, he was a bird carver and that's one of his old carvings. And he passed away uh, 14 years ago, actually. It was opening night of the celebration and he'd always said Barbara paint birds and I never really listened and uh, kind of towards the end of his life I started to paint little birds here at the show and when I visited him I would show him these little paintings each painting was named after one of his best friends and they started to sell and then people would request their favorite bird with maybe their you know golf club or their favorite book and it grew to this theme and it definitely kind of took off, so I just have always, for the most part, had a bird in my work. I'm kind of, once in a while I do new things without birds now, but um, people always look for the birds. So it's one signature that I have in my work. I think getting lost, it's just really amazing to be able to get lost in a painting. Um, hours fly by and it, you can kind of just escape from the news or whatever it is that's distracting you. And I really love it. It just, it's, um, I try to create paintings that might touch somebody, there might be a little bit of humor. It's a way to express myself. I can get lost in it and hopefully trans, transfer that onto the viewer too, like by telling a little story somehow through my art. It's always a compliment when somebody comes in and connects with the painting and maybe we talk about how that painting makes them feel. It might be, you know, just a story about a bird or a still life or something like, you know, this old typewriter. Somehow it will resonate and when then they purchase a piece, it's always an honor to me um, that somebody has selected me. It's, this is such an amazing show, you know, to have a hundred artists that are such high quality and it's, to me, it's really uh, means so much when somebody buys a painting. It's, it's really um, more than about the sale. It's a connection I have with my, with my client. I'm always trying new things. I visited one of my neighbors uh, here at the show last summer in Colorado. We did a lot of hiking um, in Vail and we did some just more wildlife paintings and I have a fly fisherman. This is the Blue River. There's a little bit of a new direction for me but I wanted to keep the focus, the detail here, bring it in onto the fly fisherman and it, it softens as it goes. And this is a little fawn. I still do a lot of techniques with silver leaf or gold leaf and uh, I just have fun with it. But definitely the wildlife has intrigued me. I really love it being here. Um, it's definitely like a family of artists. It helps push, we push each other without even realizing it to do our best work. And we get to meet the clients that, that buy our work as opposed to a gallery where you don't get to meet the artist or the client that buys your work. And so it's really, um, it's like a family. I, I just, I think I would miss it terribly if it wasn't here. <laughs> so I'm really grateful to be a part of it this long.